This was a strange story of an office worker named Sam. He was the sales manager for a small office in the city center. Recently Sam was preparing a business plan to present to his superiors. For him this was an important step in his career, helping him to advance. As of today, it had been a week since he worked overtime. There didn't seem to be a day when he didn't come home late. When the whole office had left, Sam remained alone to continue working. He tiredly looked at the words running in front of the computer desk and then lazily helplessly leaned back in his chair, looked up at the light bulb on the ceiling with his lethargic dark eyes from lack of sleep. Sam stretched and turned to look at the clock on the wall. It was almost midnight. The work seemed to be almost finished. Sam saw that, so he got up and quickly put on his coat. He put aside work for a while and went out of the office. He walked alone under the street lights flickering on the street as he walked he thought about his life. After a while suddenly his stomach rumbled he suddenly remembered all day because he was so focused he still hadn't eaten anything. He turned into an alley at the end of the street was a 24 hour convenience store. How unlucky. Today his familiar shop was closed again. The whole street was pitch black. There was only one crepe cart at the end of the street. Sam was attracted to the crepe cart. He was surprised to see the old cart placed in the dark corner. This was the first time he saw the crepe cart placed here. He breathed a sigh of relief. At least there was still a food cart for sale. He comfortably walked in front of the crepe cart calling the seller. He waited for a while and an old woman with a hunchback came out from the crepe cart telling him that there was only one left. He nodded in agreement. After that the old woman used her slow movements to make cakes for him. Looking at the old woman he also knew that he couldn't ask for more. While making cakes the old woman asked about his life. Sam also happily answered her. He told her about his job and the reason for coming home from work later today. He stood looking at the skillful operation of the old woman making cakes in front of his eyes, with a little interest and attraction in his heart. She poured the cake batter into the pan, coated it with a smooth layer. Her movements were very skillful, looked very pleasing to the eye. The aroma of the cake wafted up, swished across Sam's nose. He smelled the aroma in his heart, anticipating how delicious this cake was. His hand was on his stomach as if to stop the hunger that was screaming inside. While waiting he also curiously asked the old woman why her children and grandchildren let her stand selling this late at night alone. She smiled sadly and told him that she had no children. After that she gave him a still hot fragrant crepe with a gentle and kind attitude. He politely took the cake from her hand, smiled and happily paid. She received a large amount of money from Sam's hand. A little confused in her heart, seeing that Sam also smiled kindly at her and gave her the change and then left. Sam could not contain his hunger, so he took a big bite of the cake, feeling the relief and relaxation in his heart. Then he turned back towards the crepe cart as if to send the old woman a compliment about the taste of the cake. But when he turned around he was completely amazed. In front of him was a dark space. The old woman and the crepe cart also suddenly disappeared for unknown reasons as if no one had ever sold cakes here. Sam saw this very surprised. He ran into the alley to see where the old woman could go so quickly. But when he got there he couldn't believe his eyes. In front of him appeared a dead end alley with no way out. At the end of the alley were litter and garbage bags. There was no sign where the old lady had gone. He found it difficult to understand how could the old woman go so fast. So he took the crepe cake in his hand seeing it still didn't disappear. So he sure didn't see a ghost. He took a big bite. It was surprisingly delicious. 
not like a cake made by the devil. Sam devoured the cake in his hand and thought about the strange thing he just encountered. Then Sam also left to go home because it was already late at night. He still couldn't stop thinking about what just happened. The next day he woke up in his room. Yesterday's story about the old woman didn't matter to him anymore. He changed his clothes and hurried on his way. As he walked, he found himself daydreaming strangely about the craving he had for the taste of yesterday's cake. So he turned into a familiar alley to go to the old woman who sold him cakes last night. But for some reason this morning he did not see the old lady. Instead, the old woman's cake selling place had an old man sitting there selling corn. He looked old. Sam walked over to ask the old man a few questions. He pointed to the place where the old woman's crepe cart was, asking the old man about the whereabouts of that old woman selling crepes. The old man was surprised to ask who Sam was. Why did he go looking for the old woman? So Sam told the old man how he had met her last night. After hearing this, the old man became more and more alarmed, coldly said to Sam in a firm voice. She passed away a long time ago. Sam couldn't believe what he heard anymore, looking at the old man in amazement. Seeing that the old man also invited Sam to sit down and tell him the story about the old woman. No one here knew that old woman she had sold crepes here when he was young. At that time, the old woman sold cakes at the head of the street. The taste of her cakes were very delicious. It seemed that there was not a day that was not crowded in front of the crepe stall. The workers, no matter how far away, once they had eaten her cake, they had to come back again. Everyone who finished eating her cake could hear her talk and care so the atmosphere around her cake was always full of laughter and joy. She sold from early morning until late at night. Her house was located quite far from here. After selling, she often rode home alone. No one knew where her children were. People only knew that she lived alone. She lived with a bunch of kids who didn't know if they were grandchildren or the street kids she adopted. Every time she came home, she would bring home crepes for them. For a bunch of kids, it was the most precious gift in the world. The children received crepes from the old woman and happily shared them with each other. For her, watching them eat and drink was the greatest happiness. But that day was different from the other day. Looking at the children happily eating and playing with each other, she suddenly felt a little sad and insecure in her heart. She quietly told these children all that was necessary and said everything she wanted to say and to say goodbye. The children heard her say that and immediately bursted into tears. They ran to hug her as if to keep her with them, not letting her leave. The scene that day made many people who witnessed it also move to the point of pain. The next morning, whatever came would happen. Her regular customers came to a crepe cart as usual to buy cakes. The cart that day was still in the old place, but they called and she didn't answer. Everyone was curious. They went over to take a look and saw that the old woman was sitting on the ground motionless, stiff, not responding to customers like before. They frantically asked each other about the old woman's situation, worried about how she was. One of the people in the crowd looked at her and quickly called a few others to help. Everyone saw that the situation seemed serious, so they ran from the outside to check it out. Everyone looked at her in panic. The old woman was sitting curled up on the ground as usual, but this time her face was pale and stiff, and she was no longer breathing. As he spoke, the old man sadly recalled the past. He regretted when her crepe cart was no more. After listening, Sam also knew what happened last night. As he expected, he met a ghost, but only because she wanted to sell cakes. 
After knowing the end of the story, Sam said goodbye to the old man and continued on his way to the office, temporarily putting aside the story about the old crepe-selling lady.